Well, welcome fellow travelers. Your traveling buddy here. Coming to you today from Benton Harbor, Michigan. Well, I was just here and uh, exploring with uh, Rob, a Michigan Anderman, and we've parted our ways. He's heading home, and I'm going to be heading home. But I figured I'm going to do a video that I haven't done in a while. As I'm driving home, I usually like to take the back roads, like I've told you before. And I was on my way here, uh, where we were doing our little videos and stuff like that. We saw all kinds of stuff. It was like that that place, the Skellville, that we just did. Those are the kind of things I like to find. So, as I'm heading home, I'm going to be stopping and filming some of the stuff. Because I don't have to be to work. I don't have to be at work today. I don't have to be home right away. So, I'm going to... Take my time, take the back roads, and anything kooky, maybe history, or historical, I'm going to stop and film it. So travel with me, will you? Unfortunately, it started to rain, but that's not going to stop me. I do have my umbrella, so if I do find something, I got my umbrella to keep me dry. But unfortunately, too, I was going to film with my GoPro on my dash, showing driving, but I left my memory card at home. Oops, my bad, but it's not going to stop me. So I got about maybe almost three hours to go before I get home. Well, I'm quite a ways home from home, so I got time. And whatever I find on the way, I'll stop and film. Guys, here's my first roadside crooky attraction, I guess what you want to call it. Look at the, across the street here. I was driving along, and I saw this. I don't know what it exactly is. But it almost looks like a lighthouse. Look at that. I don't know what it is. But it's round. Almost like a lighthouse. That's pretty cool. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I like back roads. I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Look at that. So it looks like a lighthouse in one way. That's kind of cool. Look at that, you even got the thing over there on there. It's got windows in it. I wonder what it is. Hey, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I like to take the back roads. You know, highways, yes, they get you there quicker and stuff like that. But look at this. I'm barely in any traffic out here. Hey, you get on the highway, you got all you can deal with all the semi trucks and everything like that. This is what I like. Look at that. Something cool. Look at this. As I stopped over here, this is a roadside park. It's not raining too hard right now, but we're right here on the lake. I believe that's, I believe that's Lake Michigan. Yeah, we're, that should be Lake Michigan. Right here. I'm not in Benton Harbor anymore, but yeah, this has got to be Benton Harbor, uh, I mean Lake Michigan. Right there, look at that. There's a house right next to it too. Yeah, take your running little walk down to Lake Michigan. See what we can see. Whew, it is a little chilly out right now. Here we are. See, there's Lake Michigan. Oh, there's a bench out here you can sit on a nice day. Look at that. Water's kind of choppy. Said we're supposed to get some rain. Possibly some heavy rain coming. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? But I'm cold. I'm getting back in the truck. <laughs> Look at this. I gotta walk back up the sand. <laughs> Sand's pretty wet too. Back up to the top. 
that was a little adventure. Kind of out of breath now. But back in the truck. It's a little chilly out there right now. Whew. See how what the temperature is. See what is it? 42 degrees right now. Whew. Yeah, we're supposed to get some rain tonight, possibly heavy rain. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad by the time I get before I get home. But it's not gonna stop me. See what else we can find. Now, I'm not sure what town I'm in, but I'm on the Blue Star Highway right now. See, it's Blue Star Highway. So, I'm not sure. Uh, welcome to Covert. I'm in Covert. Okay, there we go. Just saw a sign. Welcome to Covert. I'm in Covert. film this I'm not gonna go because it says keep out but look at this chair somebody built a giant chair right here out of sticks that is cool look at that giant chair that's Paul Bunyan's chair I take it <laughs> that's awesome Check that out. Now that just makes it worth it all along. <laughs> Find a giant chair like that <laughs> on the side of the road. That's just worth it. You know, even just get a little wet. See this giant chair. That is cool. Well, it's raining pretty good now. Coming down pretty hard. Uh, my next stop, whatever I find, 
Might have to just get the umbrella out. But I'm loving it. After finding that chair, you know, I was like, driving along, I was like, I ain't really seen anything quirky. And the next thing you know, this giant chair pops up. I'm like, oh man. See? That's what I like. I love it. Uh, it's definitely raining now. It's coming down pretty hard. But you know what? It's still, I'd rather have to take these back roads, deal with this rain like this, and then being on the highway and dealing with this rain. You know, and it's better than snow. That's for sure. I'm still keeping my eyes open for something quirky or historical or something. Who knows? Right now, all I'm seeing is rain, rain, rain. Now it's going to start getting a little bit over difficult to find some stuff. I'm going to keep my eyes open, but it's starting to get dark out. It's getting close to 8 o'clock. So it's going to start getting dark. And I do have to keep my eyes open also for deer. That's one thing about taking the back roads. Highway is about, just about bad, but you have to watch out taking these back roads. Watch out for deer. We've got some farmlands around here. Like that. You do have to watch out. They're out here. Alright, my fellow travelers, I've made it back home. I didn't film anymore. Oh, no, hold on. Gotta turn the light on. <laughs> that's, that's one reason why I stopped, you know, couldn't really see any of the more cookie things. And plus, it was raining pretty hard. It's actually still raining pretty bad. It was starting to really come down. I had, you know, drive and keep my eyes open for deer and all that, you know. So. That's why I didn't film any more of that, but you know, hey, at least I got to see some stuff. You know, I had a great day. Got to get out and you know hang out with Michigan Anderman, Rob. You know, my good friend Rob, and we had some. You've probably already watched the videos that we did already and stuff like that. And then you know, this one, you know, yeah, I didn't get too many quirky roadside things, but hey, that's how it goes. You know, I, at least I got to see that one, like, lighthouse thing that I call it the Paul Bunyan chair. <laughs> that was cool, you know. And got to see Lake Michigan a little bit. Hey, you know. But it was still good to get out and stretch old Betty's legs, you know, for the first time a year. You know, because I'm going to do some more. I'm going to continue doing some traveling. I mean, it ain't going to be as much as I did last year. But, me and old Betty, we're still going to get out, you know. And when the weather gets better and stuff like that, this rain ain't going to stop me. I'm going to, you know, as long as it gets, it gets warmer and stuff like that, and I can sleep right here in old Betty, you know. It was good. It was good fun, though. Good day. Lots of good videos, you know. It was like, yeah, I got quite a few videos out of this one, and you guys have probably already watched them. And I hope you enjoyed them, you know. And there will be many more. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Share me out. Share me out on all your social media. Tell your friends. Tell your family about me. So I can continue traveling and taking you places in Old Betty, you know. And also leave me a comment. Any comments appreciated. Any ideas for me to do, let me know. I just might show up and do it. So until next time, my fellow travelers, I'll see you around the mitten.